Hello everyone, welcome to our show today. We are very excited today to have with us um, our guest from Mexico, um, Jaime Duarte. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Um, before we introduce our guest, let's start with a prayer, Lorena. Yes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into, into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, and benedictus fructus ventris tui, Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc and in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Amen. Nombre del Padre, del Hijo, Spiritus Santo. Amen. Amen. So thank you very much, Jaime, for coming on to our show. We know you've got your own channel, uh, a Spanish channel, and, and Lorena is going to be translating today from Spanish to tell us about the little servant of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary. So Lorena, we've had probably one episode together that where we discussed the little servant, but um, Jaime, you've been in touch with this little servant of God for a, a long time. Um, before you talk a little bit more about her, can you tell us about yourself? Because you're very famous in the Spanish-speaking world <laughs> about your experience with God. Um, would you like to start by telling us a little bit about your experience and about yourself? Thank you very much. Um, it's a pleasure. Um, tuve un encuentro con Cristo en el año 2000 que cambió mi vida para siempre. So he says he had an encounter with God in the year 2000 that changed his life forever. Yo trabajaba en la política con Vicente Fox, candidato a la presidencia de la República en ese año. So he worked with Vicente Fox as a politician um, when he was a candidate to be a president. Me iba muy bien en la política, tenía dinero, eh, conquistamos la presidencia de la república y me casé en ese en ese año. So in that year everything was going well. He had money. They were conquering the political views, and in that year he also got married. Y las perspectivas de encontrar o de conseguir algún puesto político eran muy prometedoras. Vamos. Era tal vez el sueño que tienen los jóvenes algún día de llegar lejos en su vida. So as every young man, the, his dream was to be, become a very famous and known politician. And it was looking like that's how it was going to be. I mean, he was right there at the top. Oh. Sin embargo, mmm, tenía yo por dentro una sensación muy extraña eh, que no me dejaba en paz y me, me dolía mucho por dentro, pero también era una presión externa terrible. So, however, during that time, he had a very strange feeling from the inside that wouldn't let, leave him alone. And at the same time, this feeling was not only internal, but external. It, it was um, very, very horrible for him externally as well. Durante ese año, dos veces pasó por mi mente la idea de suicidarme. So during that year, two times he thought about committing suicide. Pero en el adviento del año eh, 2000, eh, cuando yo ya no podía más, yo me había alejado un poco de la fe de la iglesia, fui a un templo a rezar. So during the year of 2000 and the advent of that year, um, he had gone away from the church, but during that time he felt the need to go to church and pray. Caí de rodillas frente al sagrario 
y le rogué al niño Jesús que tomara mi corazón, que yo le daba mi corazón y que él me diera el suyo. So at that time he fell on his knees and he asked baby Jesus for him to take his heart and he would take his heart. So Jaime would take baby Jesus heart. Y en enero del año 2001 fui invitado a un retiro espiritual por mi mamá que todo el año me estuvo invitando y yo no aceptaba ir. So in the year 2001, in January, um, his mom had always invited him to go to a retreat, but he never wanted to go. But in that year, he said, okay, I'll go. Y durante ese retiro, yo vi a Jesús en una predicación y allí fue maravilloso. Sentí por primera vez el gran amor de Dios como nunca nadie me había amado. So in that um, in that retreat he saw Jesus, he felt Jesus in one of the prayers and that's when he said he felt Jesus love and he felt the love like nobody else had loved him before. Fue impresionante. I watched uh, Jesus in front of me. Eh, crucificado crucified crucified yeah. y el miedo la inseguridad se fueron para siempre y eso que yo sentía se acabó so all the the hurt all the um how do you say miedo fear the fear thank you so all the fear all the insecurities that he was feeling they were gone forever desde entonces para acá me he sentido muy amado por Dios y ese fuego que puso en mi corazón no se ha acabado. Mi vida cambió para siempre, me acerqué más a Dios y comencé a predicar y enseñar todo lo relacionado con la fe católica. So from that time he has felt that love, he hasn't, uh, that love hasn't left. And so he has decided that from that time he was gonna um oh my goodness, how do you say predicar? <laughs> he was gonna tell the world about God and about the faith, our Catholic faith. Yeah. Uh, y desde entonces también eh, comencé a fundar. Centro de Investigaciones sobre la Nueva Era Cisne con sacerdotes y también profesionalmente a enseñar eh, temas de imagen y comunicación a políticos y empresarios, por ejemplo. Ok, so from that time, that's when he decided to found, to found the, the, the channel, I guess it would be a, like a radio mm -hmm. channel. It's called Cisne, which is the Center of New Age Investigations. And so he's also um, a communicator and he teaches politicians about the word of God. Y hay mucho que contar desde entonces, pero esto para mí fue un parteaguas en mi vida y me siento muy feliz porque Dios, nuestro Señor, me rescató. So he says there's a lot to say about this, but um, he's, he feels very happy because God, Jesus came and rescued him. Jesus is alive and he loves everybody. And I'm so very happy and I want to, to talk about this, everybody. Uh, so um, thank you very much for this invitation. You're welcome. So, Jaime, thank you so much for letting us, telling us about your story. Um, today we're going to talk about this little girl. And uh, I know that you are special, you have a special connection. What's your connection with this little girl? ¿Cuál es su conexión con esta niña? Es muy especial porque yo nunca la busqué. Si It's no very fue, special because he never looked for her. Sí. Uh, one day, 
um, her mom um, called me and um, she was very interested to talk with me and I uh, respond why so uh, she told me because um, la Virgen Maria uh, Mama Mary uh, she wanted so <laughs> I'm surprised because I am, um, soy un pecador. Uh, he says, I'm surprised because I'm a sinner. Uh, pero esa fue um, la instrucción que recibió la pequeña eh, cuando apenas tenía tres años de edad, de que me buscara por indicaciones de la Virgen. So when the little girl was three years old, um, Mama Mary told her, that to look for Jaime Duarte and to tell him to all these messages that she has. Hoy la pequeña tiene ya um, 11 años de edad, de manera que he tenido comunicación permanente eh, casi todos los días, desde que tenía tres años hasta el día de hoy. So the little girl nowadays, she's 11 years old. And Jaime has had a connection with her since she was three. They talk almost every day. Okay, can you tell us a little bit more about um, about this little girl? Can you tell us about her experiences with God, with heaven? Um, how did it start? And um, is she um supported by her church by her priest and bishops something can you tell us about that of course Uf. han sido muchas las experiencias místicas que ha vivido la pequeña sierva de los sagrados corazones de jesús y de maría so there have been very uh, a lot of mystical experiences that the servant that the little girl servant of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and Mary has had. Por ejemplo, eh, ella desde muy pequeña, antes de los tres años, comenzó a recibir la visita de Jesús y de María que jugaban con ella. So when she was three years old, even before that, she started receiving um, visitors and there was Jesus and Mary that would come and play with her. Como ellos, también de San Miguel Arcángel, San Pío de Petrechina, los santos Jacinta y Francisco Marto, pastorcitos de Fátima. So, just like that, also uh, Saint Padre Pío, uh, the little shepherds of Fátima, and who else did you say? <laughs> ¿Quién más dijo? Uh, su ángel de la guarda. Oh, sí. Um, her guardian angel and Saint Michael, the, uh, the archangel. Y otros santos, como por ejemplo, San Martín de Porres, Santa Hildegarda von Bingen, um, José María Escrivá de Balaguer. And other saints, just like he mentioned, I don't have to uh, translate those. Y ellos le han enseñado muchas cosas sobre temas de la fe católica y también cuestiones teológicas. So they have taught her um, theological, um, how do you say? Oh my goodness. So they have taught her also, mm -hmm. uh, how do you say temas? Subjects so, of right. our faith. They have taught her subjects of our faith, a Catholic faith. And also they have taught her theological subjects. En un momento más platicaremos sobre eh, lo, los temas o el contenido eh, que ellos le han transmitido, pero quiero seguir contando eh, más sobre estas experiencias místicas. Ok, so in a little bit he wants to tell us what the saints taught her, but right now he wants to continue with the mystical experiences that she had. Ok. Estas incluyen visiones, sueños proféticos, eh, locuciones, por ejemplo. So this includes visions, 
prophetic dreams and locutions. Is that how you say it in English? Locutions? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, and locutions. La Virgen María y San Miguel Arcángel la llevaron al cielo, purgatorio e infierno. So Saint Michael, uh, also Mama Mary, took her to heaven, purgatory, and hell. Mm -hmm. uh, she read conscientious, for example, um, like Padre Pio. So she was able to read conscience, like Padre Pio. Wow. Wow. Um, también ha sido enseñada por eh, José María Escrivá de Balaguer a rezar el Santo Rosario en latín. So she has also been taught by uh, José María Escrivá how to pray the rosary in Latin. Como esto, también ha recibido dones de liberación de espíritus inmundos. So she has also received the gift to, um, to, I don't know how you say that, to, she has received the gift, how would you say this in English? I don't know, like fight with demons. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So she has been, she has received the deliverance. gift. Deliverance. To, to, deliverance. Yes, to have deliverance, yes, with uh, the demons. Como eso, algunas recetas para preparar eh, medicamentos y ayudar así a la salud de las personas. She has also received recipes as to how or what to use to for people to get healthy, so for their, their physical health. Mm, there are a lot of things, a lot of yeah. things that she has received Cielo, sky? Heaven. From heaven. Heaven, heaven. heaven. Yeah. Eh, pero lo que a mí más me ha sorprendido es que ella se ofreció a Jesús como alma víctima. So what has impacted him the most is that she offered herself as a victim soul. Desde muy pequeñita se le presentó Jesús crucificado en la pasión. Sufriendo, sangrante, en su cuarto. So, since she was a little girl, Jesus came, appeared to her um, as a crucified Jesus with blood and suffering in her room, in the passion, in his passion. Yeah. Yes. Y ella se acercó a Cristo para consolarlo. And so she got close to him, you know, to take care of him, to love him. Entonces ella cayó enferma un día en cama todo el día. And so she fell ill for a whole day. She was in bed. Su mamá todavía no entendía estas cuestiones con claridad y la llevó, por tanto, a que la revisaran los médicos. So her mom didn't understand exactly what was going on at this time, and so she took her to the doctor. Su mamá veía que sufría mucho pero no entendía por qué, pero la niña no se quejaba. So the mom saw that her little girl was suffering. She didn't understand why, but the little girl, she wasn't complaining. Los médicos la revisaron y en esa ocasión no encontraron nada como causa de este padecimiento o enfermedad. So the doctors that looked at her, They examined her and they didn't find anything that would cause what was making her ill. Pero de pronto se quitó ya eh, este dolor y la mamá encontró en la cama una espina, bueno, más bien, encontró una espina clavada en esta parte debajo de su cabecita y empezó a entender mejor lo que sucedió. So all of a sudden she started feeling better and the mom found on the little girl's bed a thorn that was sticking out of her, oh. yeah, like oh. the back of her neck. Es decir, cuando la pequeña se acercó a Jesús a consolarlo, una de las espinas de su corona se le clavó a la pequeña. So when the little girl 
you know, when he appeared in her room, when the little girl went to hug him, one of the thorns from his crown got stuck when, you know, when she went to hug him. Mm, yeah. So that thorn got stuck on the back of her neck. Por tanto, como alma víctima, la pequeña eh, tiene padecimientos místicos en ciertas fechas importantes en el año para la iglesia. So since that time, the little girl has mystical experiences um, that for, from dates that are very important to the church. Ella tiene los estigmas de la pasión de Jesús en las manos, en los pies y en el costado. So she has the stigmas of the passion of Christ in her hands, in her feet, and in, on her side as well. Yo vi estos estigmas en algunos videos y fotografías, pero solo se hacen visibles en algunos momentos especiales del calendario litúrgico de la iglesia. So he, uh, Jaime, he saw this, um, these stigmas, but he saw them in video and in pictures, and they are only visible during a specific time in the liturgical year of the church. Is she currently, does she currently have the stigmata during the Lent time or is it during like the Holy Week? Que si tiene los estigmas ahorita que estamos en cuaresma o en la Semana Santa. Llegan a ser visibles, por ejemplo, en la Semana Santa, viernes, sábado y domingo santos. So he says yes uh, at Holy Week in uh, Good Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Y como estos fenómenos hay más que no puedo compartir por ahora, pero en su momento se sabrán. So he says, um, like this phenomena, there's way more, but at this time he cannot go any further than that. But, you know, later on he'll be able to let us know what else is there. Es importante señalar que la pequeña no ve televisión, no va al cine, ni va a la escuela pública, sino que recibe enseñanza de homeschooling católico. So he says that it's very important to let us know that the little girl, she doesn't watch movies, she doesn't go to the movies, and she doesn't go to public school. She's homeschooled, and it's Catholic, a Catholic curriculum. Ha sido revisada por médicos para conocerla mejor en tema psicológico, como uh, tema mental y otros estudios, y eh, pues han confirmado que la niña es una pequeña perfectamente sana. So she has gone through many studies, not only physical, but psychological and mental, and they have proven that she's a normal little girl. Por lo tanto, estos fenómenos místicos que ella ha experimentado como pues, revelaciones privadas eh, nos llaman la atención precisamente porque es algo extraordinario. So that's why um, it's, it's something very extraordinary because mm. they are, you know, private releva relevations, yes, but it's something you know, extra extraordinary. Y antes de escuchar eh, más preguntas de Ron, solo decir que yo la conozco personalmente. He estado en su casa en varias ocasiones en México y eh, no deja de ser sorprendente su sencillez, su humildad, su fe tan grande porque ella va a misa, reza el rosario, comulga, reza con frecuencia. So he says before going on with more questions, he wants everybody to know that he knows her personally. He has been at her house. He has been eating with the family. And for him, it's very extraordinary um, how humble she is and the faith that she has. They go to mass every Sunday. They pray the rosary. 
and they're very faithful to the Catholic Church. Otro don que Dios le ha dado es el de la bilocación. Another gift that God has given her is the biolocation. Y ella a mí personalmente me ha dicho por parte de la Virgen o de Jesús eh, temas personales que nadie conoce, solo yo, y también me ha platicado un poco acerca de mi futuro y se ha cumplido. So he says that the little girl has told Jaime uh, things through Mama Mary and through Jesus that only Jaime would know, like nobody else would know. And she has also mentioned some things that would happen in his future that have happened to him. Right. Por lo tanto, todo esto nos llama la atención más todavía para escuchar lo que el cielo le ha dicho acerca del mundo de México y de grandes acontecimientos próximos. So he says because of this, he knows that we need to listen to what this little girl has to say because not only for Mexico, but for the whole world, there are events that are coming that we need to know about. Eh, quedo atento a, a las preguntas ahora que, eh, que Ron eh, quiera uh, formularme. So Ron, he says, if you have any more questions to go ahead. Yeah. Yes, I was going to ask about um, whether she's been seen by like an exorcist or by the bishop. Is there any demonic involvement in this? Like, has the church done an investigation or is the church supporting her in any way? Que si la iglesia ha hecho alguna investigación, si ha, la, la ha visto algún exorcista, que dice um, el, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Bishop. Obispo. El obispo. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Qué uh -huh. dice el obispo también sobre esta situación? Bien, ella tiene director espiritual, es un sacerdote muy santo, muy crecido en la fe, y ya se entrevistó personalmente con su obispo local. So she does have a spiritual director. He is very aware of what's going on and he is very fruitful in his faith and she has also been seen by the bishop. So the bishop knows right. what's going on. Yeah. Mm. No aparece públicamente. Me ha pedido a mí que sea eh, como la voz de la pequeña por indicación de la Virgen. Ella no aparece en redes sociales, radio, ni televisión. So, uh, Mama Mary has asked that she be kept private, as, you know, away from social media or any media. And he, and, she, and Mama Mary has asked Jaime to be her voice. Right. Sin embargo, es posible que pronto ya comience a tener apariciones públicas y, y pues esto será cuando ya su director espiritual o el propio obispo lo autoricen. However, there might be a time when she comes to the light and be made public and it's soon to be that her spiritual director or the bishop, you know, wants this mm -hmm. to happen. Mientras tanto, me ha pedido que yo difunda los mensajes que la Virgen quiere que todos conozcamos eh, como parte de una preparación a lo que vendrá. But in the meantime, the Virgin has asked Jaime to be the voice and to let everybody know of these 50 messages that is more like a preparation of what is to come. So does the bishop support her? Um, does the bishop support the little girl? Has he given her like his blessing or? Que si el obispo apoya a la niña, le ha dado su bendición. Sí, le ha dado su bendición, pero de forma privada. Um, no, no ha hecho más que eso. Y pienso que. Um, guarda una, una atención eh, especial. 
So he says, yes, the bishop has given her a blessing, but it's more private, a private mm. blessing, mm. nothing mm. more than that. And, and Jaime says that is like uh, the bishop has given her a special attention. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about her messages, especially the 50 messages that um, she's been receiving the messages since she was three years old. Is that correct? So, él dice que si ella ha recibido los mensajes desde que ella tiene tres años. Así es. Ella desde pequeña y hasta el día de hoy, todos los días tiene estas experiencias místicas. He says yes, from very little age, uh, and to this day, every day, she has a special right. mystical experience. And has the messages have the messages been checked by the by priests to see if it's uh, like contrary to the faith or are they against faith or morals in any way pregunta que si los sacerdotes han revisado estos mensajes si es, tienen algún si están en contro, en controversia con nuestra iglesia con nuestra fe algunos sacerdotes han revisado los mensajes Sí, y puedo compartir el contenido de estos con ustedes con mucho gusto de lo que se ha autorizado y ninguno de estos mensajes es contrario a la fe. Al, es más, eh, eh, van totalmente mm, de acuerdo a nuestra doctrina católica. So he says, yes, there have been priests that have checked these messages and they say that none of the messages are, are contradicting our faith. Um, and he says that on the contrary, they are like aligned to the T with our faith. Guardan concordancia con el Evangelio, con las Sagradas Escrituras, y tienen un alto contenido teológico, eh, pero de una manera sencilla. Okay, so he says that they are accordance with our the with the Bible with mm -hmm. the Scripture, and um, and I forgot what he said. <laughs> I forgot Theolo the last thing you theology. said. Theology. He said yes. something about theology. Yes. Oh, yeah. see, so you have a better memory than I do. Um, and so he says that they are um, they are accordance with the theological um, experiences of their faith. Right. Yes. So why are there only 50 messages? Is that like, the, are they 50 special messages that want to be shared with the public? Is that correct? Que porque solo hay 50 mensajes y que si estos son los 50 mensajes que tienen que ser uh, dados al público. Hay más mensajes, son más de 50. Eh, yo di a conocer por autorización de su director espiritual 50 mensajes en mayo de 2021, pero voy a dar a conocer más todavía, más de 50 eh, próximamente. So he says in the year 2021, in May, uh, the spiritual directors uh, gave him the goal to, like, he authorized him to just say those 50 messages, but there are way more than 50 messages, and soon he will be authorized to say the other messages. Right. Maybe not all of them, but, you know, a couple more. Mm -hmm. So currently there are only 50 messages that have been released. And I know they're on your um, YouTube channel in Spanish. Is that correct? Que hasta ahorita solo hay 50 y están en su canal de YouTube. Sí, así es. Yes. And for our Spanish viewers, how can they see, find your YouTube channel? Y para nuestros... Las personas que hablan español, ¿cómo lo pueden encontrar a usted? Se puede buscar en YouTube Cisne Radio, eh, Pequeña Sierva o Mensajes del Cielo. So they can search up uh, Cisne Radio and we'll probably put it up on the screen. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, little servant, little girl, little servant of the Sacred Heart. Right. Okay. También he recibido entrevistas de otros canales y medios católicos donde he compartido los mensajes 
e incluso un canal católico en México eh, registró más de un millón de vistas de, por esta entrevista. So he has also given interviews with other Spanish speaking um, YouTube channels. And he says that one of the, the interviews that he had with the Mexican channel had more than one million views. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. It's exciting. Yeah. yeah. So can you tell us about the main ideas or themes in the 50 messages? Of course. Por ejemplo, eh, para entender estos mensajes, eh, hay que observarlos en torno a una, una de las misiones más importantes de la pequeña. So he says, unable to understand these messages, we have to look at what the little girl's mission really is. Antes, durante y después del gran aviso de Dios. So it's before, during and after the warning of God. La pequeña ha recibido la misión de prepararnos, bueno, primero de advertirnos y prepararnos espiritualmente a este gran acontecimiento. So the little girl's mission is to uh, warn us, to prevent us about this huge event that is going to happen. Y como, es, y como este tema del gran aviso de Dios, the warning, está también la gran purificación para el mundo y México. So not only the topic of the warning, but also the purification of not only Mexico, but the whole world. Por ejemplo, la niña nos platica eh, sobre lo que le ha dicho el cielo será el gran aviso de Dios donde veremos nuestros pecados como Dios nos ve. So God has told the little girl about the warning that we are going to see our sins, we're going to see ourselves the same way that God sees us. Este gran evento universal mmm, Dice la pequeña, está cada vez más cerca. So the little girl says that this universal event is getting closer and closer each time. Como este acto de la misericordia de Dios, habrá otros eventos muy importantes para México y el mundo. So just like this um, big event that is for you know, from the mercy of God, there's other events that will come to pass, not only for Mexico, but for the whole world. La pequeña me ha dicho que la Virgen le ha comentado que luego de la aprobación del aborto en México, vendrá una purificación tremenda para nuestro país. So the little girl told Jaime that after what happened with the promotion of abortion in, in Mexico, there will be a huge purification for the country of Mexico. Entre estos eventos se encuentra eh, un poderoso terremoto, eh, erupción de volcanes y tsunamis que van a afectar las principales costas del territorio nacional. So within these big events that he said are coming is a big, huge earthquake, volcanic eruptions, and tsunamis that are going to affect um, the coastal, the major coastal areas of uh, Mexico. Yo he, an, he analizado este escenario uh, duro, terrible para México, y desde mi punto de vista, esta es una opinión personal. Esto va a reconfigurar o a cambiar la política, la economía, la sociedad, la cultura de nuestro país para siempre. So he says this is a personal opinion of his that he has been studying, you know, what would happen if all these 
things came to be. And he says, this is going to change Mexico, political, um, religious, the structure, everything about Mexico will change. Forever. Forever. Y es que nuestro país, lamentablemente, hoy vivimos una situación muy difícil de inseguridad pública, homicidios todos los días eh, bajo este gobierno de López Obrador. So he says that unfortunately, under you know the current president López Obrador, there has been so many homicides and so much insecurity within our country that it's time for a change. Leyes y políticas de gobierno contrarias a la dignidad de la persona humana y muchas otras um, situaciones difíciles que me llevan a mí a pensar que Dios debe intervenir ya. So he's saying that it makes him think, it makes Jaime think, so it's a personal opinion, that God has to intervene like sooner than later because everything that's happening, all the laws, all the political things that are happening right now in Mexico are going against, um, are against humanity, against, you know, God's the Lord. dignity of humans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. La pequeña ha dicho también que, bueno, de nuevo, la pequeña, mmm, a la pequeña le dijo el cielo que vendría el COVID y que después del COVID vendría otro virus mortal terrible para la humanidad. So the little girl said that Jesus had told her about COVID coming. Right. And he also mentioned that after COVID, there would be another virus that would be very lethal to humans. No sabemos qué virus será. Probablemente el sarampión, no hay seguridad. So he says that they're not sure what kind of virus um, is to come. Maybe it could be, I don't know if sarampión is chicken pox. I don't know how to translate sarampión. Maybe you're going to okay. have to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they don't know exactly what virus could, it could be. Sure. Y como esto... La Tercera Guerra Mundial también. And just like this, Third World War also is coming. Luisa Picarreta le habla a la niña, tiene diálogos con ella en su habitación. So Luisa Picarreta also talks to this little girl and they have a very well, like a communication and they speak to each other in her room. Le ha dicho, como también la Virgen y nuestro Señor Jesucristo, que debemos convertirnos a Dios. So Luisa, uh, Mama Mary, and Jesus have told her that we have to convert to God. Y le ha dicho que debemos prepararnos espiritualmente y materialmente a estos grandes eventos. And they have told her that we have to prepare ourselves spiritually and physically for these upcoming events. Por ejemplo, no pecar, interceder por los pecadores o rezar por los pecadores, dejar que Jesús toque nuestro corazón. For example, do not sin, to intercede for sinners and to let Jesus Touch our hearts. Rezar mucho por las vocaciones sacerdotales, los homosexuales y hacer sacrificios. So we have to pray a lot for priestly vocations, for the homosexuals, and we have to do a lot of sacrifice. Ayunar, hacer penitencia, eh, ir a misa. We have to be fasting, uh, penance, and we have to be going to Holy Mass. Recibir la Sagrada Comunión, visitar al Santísimo Sacramento. We have to receive Jesus 
and communion, and we also have to go and do our holy hours. Rezar el Santo Rosario. Pray the, the Holy Rosary. Leer las Sagradas Escrituras. Read the Holy Bible. Usar sacramentales como la medalla de San Benito, la medalla de la Inmaculada Concepción, consagrarnos a los Sagrados Corazones de Jesús y de María. So use sacramentals like the medal of um, San Benito. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you say San Benito in, in English. <laughs> Saint Benedict. Saint Benedict, thank you. And also to uh, consecrate ourselves to to Jesus, to the heart of Jesus through Mary. Portar el escapulario. We have to be carrying our scapulary. Refugiarnos en el Inmaculado Corazón de María y consagrarnos a nuestra madre. So we have to refuge ourselves in the sacred heart of Mary and to consecrate ourselves to her as well. Muy importante confesarnos, dice, dice la niña. And the little girl says that it's very important for us to go to confession. No recibir la Sagrada Comunión, comunión en la mano. Do not, the little girl says, do not receive Holy Communion on your hand. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about um, this, the physical preparations that she was told about? Of course. Um, la niña dice que debemos tener una maleta lista con las cosas más importantes para esos días difíciles del sismo o terremoto. So the little girl says that we have to have um, a, a bag or mm -hmm. a luggage mm -hmm. full of our, our, our necessities or the most important right. things to us to be ready just in case for the earthquake. Is this only for Mexican people or is it for everyone? Uh, puede ser para México y todo el mundo, no es exclusivo solo de nuestro país. So he says it could be for Mexico, but it could also be for the whole world. It's not exclusive mm -hmm. to Mexico. En esta maleta deben estar los sacramentales como agua, sal y aceite benditos. So in your luggage, you should have sacramentals like uh, holy water, salt, and um, oil. Bless También, también eh, le ha dicho el cielo um, que hay que sellar puertas y ventanas con la sangre de Jesús. So the girl has been told that we have to seal Doors and windows with the blood of Christ. Eso es en lo material como lo más lo más relevante. Y quiero agregar, eh, en México hay mucha gente preocupada por, eh, por lo que podría ocurrir con un temblor. So he says that that's basically with the material preparation, that's the most relevant that he thinks he could share right now. And he says that in Mexico right now, people are very worried about an earthquake. Y está Can I ask young. before, uh, you said to seal the doors and windows with blood. Is there a yeah. special, with this precious blood, is there a um, special prayer to use? No, no hay una oración especial para eso. So he says, no, there's not like a, a specific prayer for it. So do we just right. do it? No más lo hacemos. Mm -hmm. Como... Eh, en internet hay algunas oraciones de sacerdotes que podrían utilizarse. So he says we can look on the internet yes. from um, priest, not just right. anyone, but mm -hmm. from priest that we can use. Sí, eh, lo, que, lo que iba a decir es que... Eh, la gente en el medio católico, muy poquita gente que sabe esto, está muy preocupada y está buscando lugares para refugiarse en bosques o selvas, pero... So he says that, um, you know, in our Catholic community, there's a couple of people 
maybe a few people that are getting very worried. And so they are looking for physical refuge, like they're yeah. going out into the woods or, you know, they're getting away from the city. But no. le pregunté a la pequeña sobre ello y me dijo la Virgen me dice que el mayor refugio es su inmaculado corazón. So um, Jaime asked the little girl, you know, regarding this issue. Yeah. And so the little girl said that Mama Mary told her the best refuge is in her immaculate heart. Um, does that mean that um, would there be places of, does she know, or was she told whether there'll be places where um, Christian people will be protected during chastisements or during wars or persecution que si habrá lugares físicos en donde mm. la gente podrá ir a refugiarse del castigo o de la guerra respondo de manera personal que mm. hay hermanos que ya están eh, construyendo o están viviendo en esos lugares So he's saying, you know, from a personal, a personal answer, not what the little girl says, mm -hmm. that there's already people, uh, brothers and sisters, you know, our Catholic faith that are already, you know, uh, building these places yeah. out there yeah. away from the city. Y la niña ha dicho que en su momento la Virgen dirá a dónde acudir. And the little girl said that In the precise moment, Mama Mary is going to tell us where we need to go. Pero lo más importante es preparar nuestro corazón, nuestra vida, para convertirnos a Dios. But he says that the most important thing is to prepare ourselves, prepare our hearts and our lives to convert ourselves to God. Y nos insiste mucho en leer la pasión, eh, el libro de Luisa Picarreta. And the little girl insists that we must read the book of Luisa Picarreta, The Passion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, can I ask, um, did she receive messages about after the warning? What, what does she say about that? Que ella recibió mensajes para el después del aviso, ¿qué, ¿qué quería decir con esto? Um, no lo tengo en este momento muy claro, pero um, tiene que ver con la misma preparación a estos grandes acontecimientos. Es decir, no sabemos cuándo van a ocurrir, pero sí que van a tener una secuencia y quizás se presenten estos eventos al mismo tiempo. So he says that he's not very clear right now right. as to what the messages are for the after the right. warning, but he says that um, if we take into account the messages of the preparation, they're going to mm -hmm. be in sequence. So, you know, they're going to be together is if we, if we do what the messages are, you know. Sure. And, a lot of uh, some of the messages talk about um, third world war. They talk about earthquakes, natural disasters. Are these chastisements from God? Like, are they going to purify the world? Is there going to be something else that's going to happen that's going to cause the world to to be pur purified? Pregunta que si usted, has, uh, o bueno, la niña, ¿no? Ha hablado de estos castigos, del terremoto y todas estas cosas. Que si el castigo es de Dios y que si esto va, va a causar una purificación en el mundo. No he leído textualmente que Dios diga que es un castigo, pero que sí lo ha permitido. Eh, y que pues es eso, una purificación, es una, una preparación como lo que ocurrió en Acapulco, Guerrero, 
donde también el Señor le dijo que iba a ocurrir eso. Eh, pero sabemos que había mucho pecado allí y se hicieron rituales ocultistas. Ok, so <clears throat> he says that he has not read or um, had, you know, like a precise message mm -hmm. saying that it's a chastisement mm -hmm. from God, but that God is letting all these things happen because we need a purification. Right. He says that it, it's just like what happened in Guerrero, Acapulco. Remember we talked about this last time? Yes. Uh, because in Guerrero, Acapulco, there's a lot of, um, how do you say? Um, e look, sins? Sins. Uh, yeah. Occultism, Satanism. Yes. Oh, like, Satanism. Yes. Uh -huh. And like the occult, there's a lot of the uh, occult going on in Acapulco. So it needed to happen. Yeah. Otros instrumentos sí han dicho claramente que esto es un castigo. Y, pero bueno, eh, la pequeña exactamente no. Pero es muy importante lo siguiente y no quiero que se, nos, se, nos, se me pase. La pequeña nos anticipa también del triunfo que habrá de los sagrados corazones de Jesús y de María. Por eso lleva su nombre. So he says that the little girl has not specified that it is a chastisement, a chastisement from God. Yeah. But he wants, before we end, he wants uh, people to know that the, obviously the biggest message here is that the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, that's, you know, the biggest message here that her heart will triumph. And what does that mean? To, ¿Qué es lo que significa eso? Que el Sagrado Corazón de María va a triunfar. Inmaculado Corazón. Porque los 50 o más mensajes que yo debo comunicar próximamente cuando los autorice su director espiritual hablan, no los conozco, no los he leído, pero sé por la mamá que hablan de victoria y de esperanza. So he says that the next 50 messages that the spiritual director wants Jaime to, you know, make, make public, talk about the victory of, right. um, yes, of the, 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 the heart of Mary. And this victory is going to happen as a result of the illumination of conscience. Esta victoria va a ser resultado de la iluminación de conciencias. Sí, y de la purificación que va a padecer México. Yes, and also the purification that Mexico is going to go through. And, and the world. And the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. It's a, it's a really fascinating topic, Jaime. Um, we'll love you to come back in the future and to give us some updates on this, on what's <laughs> happening with the servant, little servant of of the sacred hearts what do you have any final other final words to leave us pues le agradece mucho que esté aquí compartiendo con nosotros estos mensajes él quiere que usted regrese para que nos siga hablando no de este tema y él quiere saber si usted tiene alguna otro mensaje algo más que nos quiera uh, transmitir Agradezco la invitación. Thank you very much. Estoy para servirles. Esperamos en Dios. Recen por la pequeña, recen por México, recen por mí, para que pronto se, se den a conocer esos 50 o más mensajes. Y solo cierro con la frase que la niña maneja y me encanta. En la voluntad de Dios siempre. So he says, thank you very much for the invitation. He wants us to pray for this little girl. He wants us to pray for him. And he wants to just close by saying what the little girl, like her motto is, is yeah. in the divine will always. Yeah. Amen. Thank you very much. Until next time, may God bless you all. See you later. God bless thank you. you thank you very much. Gracias, Jaime. Gracias.